Hello and welcome in. Today we're going to be doing a healing on Claire audience, the ability to hear things that are not spoken. With that being said, I feel like we might uh, deem it worthy to talk about if you are hearing voices that are telling you to do things that would harm yourself or others, go seek help. In my experience and the experience uh, that I've heard from other healers, intuitives, and otherwise emotionally, mentally healthy people is that the voices that are heard from spirit are never nefarious. So take care of yourself. All right, so clairaudience is a little bit different than telepathy. Telepathy is, it's kind of in your sinus cavity. So it goes up from your throat. Both of these are functions of your throat chakra. Your throat chakra is communication and authenticity. So your telepathic channels branch off in two channels up your throat, split off along your jaw, around your ear, under the eye, and then curving back around the way they went down. There is a specific healing for the telepathic channels that I have under the membership. It's called the Vault Series. But today we're going to be working on clear audience. The clients that I've been talking with lately are really interested in getting to know their guides. And I feel like there's nothing more worthy than or helpful to get to know your guides on the spiritual path. And one of the strongest ways that we tend to work with our guides is through uh, clear audience. And this is different than telepathy because telepathy is communicating with other alive beings um, through like the projection or um, receiving of information. Clear audience is how you heal hear beings without bodies, such as angels, spirit guides, higher self. So they're similar but different. So your ear channels, you might notice that you have been getting ringing in your ears and have heard that this is probably a sign of some sort of ascension. This can be true. It can also be a function of an overdrived nervous system. So first, I just want you to take a pause with me, find a really quiet space, and I want you to listen in to the ringing in between your ears. Now I want you to add some adjectives to it. For example, mine is quiet and high pitched. So when you get to know the sound of your own frequency, i.e. you're not hung over right now, you're not, you haven't just been to a concert, this is the sound of your body at rest, then you'll start to know when things are off and you'll start to notice when the vibration around you changes. So when you get this base level of like, this is what my sound sounds like, then you'll start to know, oh, this high pitched ringing means my nervous system is overactive. Oh, this high pitched ringing means that there's a frequency change around me because our body is just a vessel for reading and understanding energy. And sometimes it takes a while for our vessel to adjust to higher frequencies. So let's say that you are on the spiritual path and you're really trying to hear, clear audience, um, other people's thoughts. You're trying to pick up information patterns, clear audiently from beings without bodies, or you're trying to communicate with the dead. These are all reasons for updates going to be happening in your ear chakras. So both don't be scared, but also be aware of what your natural sound sounds like. So again, take a deep cleansing breath and listen in. Okay. Awesome job. All right, now we're going to 
ground you. So follow along with me and then we'll go in and do a healing. <sighs> Create a grounding cord that will help you enhance your clear audience. Notice the color. Read the color if you can. Hook it up to your root chakra for a male body or your sacral chakra for a female body. Once it's snugly over the appropriate chakra, let it drop through the earth, falling down through rock and soil, roots, and metals. Plug into the center of the earth. It's easy. Take some time to notice the strong connection now. Bring your awareness back up to where your bottom is seated and find the on button. Click, activate your grounding cord. I want you to hear the sound of the grounding cord. Notice what sensations you're having in your body as the grounding cord removes anything in the way of you having superb clear audience. Relax and breathe into this grounding. Head back down to the center of the earth and grab an earth energy that will make you more clairaudient. I want you to pull the energy up to your ear and hear its sound. What does it sound like? Bring this frequency to the bottom of your feet. Let it wash over your feet. Open your foot chakras. Let this earth energy climb into your calves, your knees, your thighs, your hips, into your root chakra and down your grounding cord. Flush out your leg channels with this earth energy. Head to the edge of the universe and make sure you have a translucent cord plugged in to the great central sun. Say hello to source energy. <sighs> Ask source for the most perfect cosmic energy that will support you becoming more Claire audient. Notice the color and put it up to your ear, listen to the color. What sound does it make? Bring it down to your crown chakra. Let it wash through your crown chakra.
Open the two channels down the back of your neck, four down your back, two down the base of your spine, and into your root, down your grounding cord. Flush out your back channels. In your root chakra now, you have cosmic and earth energy. I want you to make a very special blend. Of 90% cosmic and 10% earth. This new blend is going to wash and update all chakras and patterns. So see the new color. Hear its sound. Let it wash through your root. Let it wash through your sacral. Bring it up into your solar plexus, let it wash and update. Bring it up into your heart, let it wash and update. Bring it into your throat, let it wash and update. Bring it up your two telepathic channels at the front of your throat, along your jaw, over your ear, through your sinus, looping back around and up to your third eye. Let it wash and update your third eye. Bring it up into your crown. Let it wash and update your crown chakra. big fountain out the top of your head and let it fall down around charging all seven layers of your aura. Now you're going to take a little bit from your throat and let it wash and update your ear chakras. Take a little bit from your crown, bring it down to your shoulders. From your third eye, bring it down to your shoulders. From your throat, bring it down to both shoulders. And from your heart, bring it into your shoulders. From your shoulders, let this new energy flood down your arms, big fountains, out of the palm of your hands. Now you're running Claire Audient energy. And you can make that happen as quick as you need to. From your observation deck in the center of your head, I want you to create 
some gold roses and go into your root chakra and clean out any pictures or energies that are in resistance to you being clairaudient. When it's very full, throw it a mile away and explode it. And I want you to create more, another gold rose. Let it come into your sacral chakra and clean out any information and patterns that are resistant to you being clairaudient. Throw it a mile away and explode it. Create another gold rose. Welcome it into your solar plex chakra and clean out any information and patterns that are resistant to you being extremely clairaudient. Throw it a mile away and explode it. Create another gold rose. Ask it to come into your heart space and clear out any patterns or energies that are resistant to you being supremely clairaudient. Front and back, all around. Throw the rose a mile away and explode it. Create another gold rose. Let it come into your throat chakra and clean out any information and patterns that are resistant to you being incredibly clairaudient. Maybe you need a few roses. Throw those roses a mile away and explode them. Create two roses and clean out both of your telepathic channels on each side of your throat and face. Maybe you can even imagine that they get wider. I'll show you again in case you need to see it. Throw those roses a mile away and explode them. Now create two really soft, sticky roses. And imagine sticking them gently into your ears and just cleaning out anything in the way of you communicating with beings without bodies.
throw those roses a mile away and explode them. Create another gold sticky rose and clean off your third eye. Anything in the way, leaving clear audience. Throw it a mile away and explode it. Create another sticky rose and clean out your crown chakra. Anything in the way of you being clairaudient and making it easy to be clairaudient. Throw it a mile away and explode it. Now back in the center of your head, we're going to have a talking session with your higher self. So I want you from the center of your head, from your observation deck, to see two sets of headphones drop down from God or source. And there's two chairs. These headphones will allow you to hear and understand your higher self easily, without problem. So you put the headphones on and you go sit in the seat and you watch your higher self, put the headphones on and go sit in the seat in front of you. Hmm. I want you to say hello to your higher self and get a hello back. Maybe you need to adjust the dials on your headphones to hear them better. Keep adjusting the dials on your headphones until you can hear your higher self clearly. Now start asking some questions. Am I in alignment? Why or why not? Am I currently doing anything that's blocking my best life? What would you like me to see, what would you like to see me do more of that will increase my happiness Maybe you have a specific thing that you want. Ask your higher self 
if that's currently on the way. Any last questions you may have for your higher self? Now I want you to create a gold rose of gratitude. Give it to your higher self and express your deepest thanks. Thank you for this life. Thank you for this opportunity. Thank you for this joy. Thank you for this moment. Thank you for me. Thank you for me. I love you. Send your headphones back up, say goodbye to your higher self, and then step back into your observation deck, into your body. Take a deep belly breath, and another one. Okay. Good job today, everybody. As always, if you need more help, don't be afraid to schedule a psychic healing session. Other than that, I'm so lucky to have you guys in my community. Thank you for participating. Thank you for showing up. You're so worth it. <laughs>